Space has become more than just a backdrop for stargazing. It's an arena where nations are forging the tools to secure their interests, protect their assets, and defend their sovereignty. Satellites orbiting above grant unprecedented surveillance capabilities, enabling real-time intelligence gathering and swift responses to emerging threats. But as the advantages of space technology proliferate, so do the potential vulnerabilities. The race to secure these assets has intensified, pushing boundaries beyond the confines of our planet. Welcome back to Let's Talk About Tech. Today we're venturing beyond the horizon to explore why, in an era of accelerating technology, space is emerging as the next great frontier for defense. This is the place where you get to be co-creators. What do you want to know about defense technology? Or perhaps just tech in general? Let us know in the comments section below. And in case you're not familiar with Saab, have a look at Saab.com. And by all means, click that subscribe button. Our modern world relies heavily on satellites orbiting high above the Earth, providing us with essential services like communication and surveillance. Position, navigation and timing remain core functions in everyday life. For example, every time you swipe your card at the grocery store, but also in military use, such as for monitoring enemy troop movement, missile launch detection and weapon delivery. Essentially, space is not only a potential theater of operations, but also an important strategic enabler in support of all military domains. These satellites are not immune to threats, whether from space debris or to hacking. In an era where we all depend on instantaneous information, it is hard to imagine a world without communication, navigation, weather reports and all the other things we use every day that depend on space. To put it simply, the more we rely on space, the more we have to lose. When thinking of space and defense, it's easy to think of scenes straight out of a movie with dramatic explosions and lasers. However, in real life, there are systems and weapons able to destroy satellites being used directly and indirectly by armed forces. A number of nations have demonstrated the ability to launch missiles to space in order to remove a satellite, so-called ASATs. Another tactic is to simply place your satellite near others to interfere with them. Since satellites can't maneuver very well and it's not possible to add armor plating, the services they provide need to be protected in other ways. Satellites are vulnerable to many of the same cyber security threats that exist on Earth. And as the number of satellites increases, so do the opportunities for malicious actors. There are multiple ways to attack a satellite. Beyond software and firmware vulnerabilities, they are also susceptible to jamming and spoofing attacks. Jamming works through white noise interference, causing loss of accuracy, while spoofing is a type of radio interference when weak signals are overpowered by stronger ones, making the user believe they are in a false location. This is something you definitely don't need to be a space superpower to do. A cyber attack or jamming can disrupt essential services with far-reaching consequences, such as affecting industries, emergency response and critical infrastructure. Additionally, as satellites can capture high-resolution imagery and data, unauthorized access to these satellites could lead to sensitive information ending up in the wrong hands. Furthermore, decreasing costs of sending technology to space and our increasing dependence on satellites has led to companies receiving permission to send thousands of satellites into low Earth orbits, turning space into a crowded highway, bustling with activity and traffic, both human-made and natural. 
Due to this, space situational awareness and traffic management will become of increasing importance. After all, you need to make sure your expensive satellite doesn't collide with someone else's and isn't on collision course with any space debris. And of course, most nations would be very interested in knowing what kind of satellites everyone else has. So, how do we defend objects in space? Well, we implement robust cybersecurity measures to fend off cyber threats. We monitor space debris, track satellite positions, and collaborate internationally to avoid collisions. Space knows no borders, and neither should our efforts to protect it. Together, we can raise awareness about space debris and responsible space practices among satellite operators, policymakers, and the public. But it's not just the satellites themselves that need safeguarding. Ground stations, the link between Earth and space, must also be secured. Most likely, we won't see any Star Wars anytime soon. But cyber attacks against satellites and space equipment are happening now. The more countries rely on space for their domestic security, the more their space assets become targets themselves. We are no longer looking at a question of science fiction. We are now looking at scientific reality. This is the first of two episodes on space. And in the next one, we'll take a closer look at satellites. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And by all means, let us know what you would like us to dig into next. This is a series format where you get to be the co-creator. And if you're not familiar with Saab, check out Saab.com and learn more about what we do, both in space and on Earth. Let's keep talking. And more precisely, let's talk about tech.